Zachary Anderson. This is my Morad Aggression Force that we have for our Infinity Tournament that we're doing here at work at Blue Table Painting. Uh, this is actually everything you get in the starter box of the Force, and I think it's a pretty good balance of what you can get for the army. Uh, the big guy right here is a uh, Tempest Sograt, I believe is what he's called. And he comes with a, uh, the Fuhrbach and a Auto Medi Kit. So even when he's incapacitated on your turn, you can spend an order for him to possibly get back up even when he should be dead. Um, next is one of the basic Vanguard entry that you can get. Uh, they all come out with uh, combi rifles, and I have uh, three different versions of them. So there's the first one, the second one is right here, and the third one's right here. They're kind of like your basic line infantry. They're there to uh, to take the brunt and try and dish out some themselves. Uh, this right here is the uh, Ozna. I actually haven't had the privilege of using her yet, but she's got a really cool dynamic pose. Uh, I believe she comes with an AP close combat weapon, and I think she comes with a combi rifle also. And you can actually use her to uh, work with the Hungries, which is another unit the Combine can take. And then the, uh, the last guy who's different, he's a uh, Raktorak. They're kind of like jungle fighters for the ba basic infantry. He actually comes with a combi rifle and a heavy flamer, which is pretty deadly, if anyone knows how big that template is in game. <laughs> All right, this is Lieutenant Steven Rao. He is a uh, Bogmari special character for the Akana Cemento Sectorial Force of Panoshnia. Uh, he's, um, I really enjoyed putting them all together. It was a very easy assembly uh, because it, unlike a lot of the models I've assembled for this force, he was slotted. So there were tabs in his shoulders and on his back where all the pieces attached. Uh, he was a joy to paint. Uh, I painted him to match the rest of my Bogmari uh, units for my Akana Cemento army. So anything that glows, glows blue. Uh, I gave him a kind of a darker skin tone instead of the usual Caucasian, because uh, he's supposed to be kind of Indian. Um, he's a, I'm especially looking forward to using him uh, as soon as I can, because uh, I can run him as a lieutenant for no additional points cost. Uh, he doesn't cost any special weapons uh, cost to run or anything like that. And as a Bogmari, he also has mimetism, which makes him more difficult to kill. And unlike the other Bogmari units, he has armor 2 instead of armor 1 making him more survivable when he does get hit. Uh, he's also equipped with a multi-spectral visor, so he'll be able to see through uh, other opponents' camouflage. Um, and that'll come in handy, especially since we have a lot of Aleph players around here. And, uh, but that's my Lieutenant Steven Rao. I'm looking forward to using him. Hey guys, this is Matt with Titan Terrain Studio. These are the Gorgo Squad models that I painted up for our Infinity League. Uh, this is a really cool set to put together. It looks really striking on the board. Um, the assembly on this went really, uh, really well. About the only challenging thing on the assembly was the on the actual Gorgos tag. This chain that you see right here connecting the arm to the backpack is really small, and I have really big fingers. So that was about the only challenging thing about putting it together. The mold lines were really smooth and easy to remove. The, uh, the model itself had very little flash on it, so it's a wonderful sculpt. It is actually really cool in the game because it has... Uh, two shooting weapons. One is just the regular Spitfire, and then the other is a two-shot Flame and Spear that's, that has fire ammunition, which is really nasty. It's also got this little, uh, this little uh, Choxa, I think it's a, not a Servitor, it's a little, just sort of a little ghost servant that operates along with him that can run along and do interesting things. So, uh, I also did a time-lapse video of assembling these on our YouTube channel, Titan Terrain Studio. Uh, so if you want to also check that out, uh, that's on our channel as well. All right, this is Uxia McNeil. I think her name is actually supposed to be pronounced Uxia, but I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Anyways, I love this miniature, both in the game and in real life. Uh, the model has a really great pose. There's not a ton of pieces to worry about. Uh, it's very dynamic, has a lot of detail on it. Uh, it just... It looks really nice, and I think it fits. It's a huge improvement over the previous uh, version of this figure. This is the standard figure with uh, camo, boarding shotgun, frenzy, and the multi-spectral visor level one. So in game terms, uh, she has a lot going for her and really can add a lot of skills and tools that Ariadna normally doesn't have at its disposal. So it's a good model to take in the game. Uh, it's a beautiful model to own and to have. And uh, there is one weird thing about it. Actually, it's not weird. It's pretty cool. Her backpack, if you turn it around, like 
standard good backpack but from the front there aren't any straps that go around her arm I was looking at the model a little bit closer she has like clips or something on the vest so the backpack clips into the vest and she doesn't have to worry about straps and stuff I, I like the idea if there was something like that I probably would buy that <laughs> in real life but uh, it's just neat to see how they how Corvus Belli uses kind of up-and-coming technologies and things and incorporates those into their miniatures uh, it's a good thing I like it